Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I'm coming at you with a Pokemon sales data video. We do have a little bit to go over today. Um, I'm going to preface with the fact that we have a uh, PWCC auction coming in the next couple of days. I think on the 18th it starts. Now there are two Shining Charizards. They are uh, both first edition. They're both PSA 10. So we're likely going to see... We're probably likely going to see record prices for it. Uh, I'm going to say 10k each. Um, yeah, that, that's probably going to be absorbed pretty quickly. Um, that's my. I'm going to say like 9,800 and 10,100. That's my predictions. And then we also have a trophy Kangaskhan PSA 10, the big one. Now the population on the PSA 10 is one of 12. I think there's 43 total in the world. That's in the pop report. Um, again, only 12 of them are 10. And this is a new cert number, it's four, seven, something, something. The one I'm buying has an older cert number, like two, six, seven, something, something. However, that one is freaking pristine. Um, the one that we're seeing, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to automatically bid like 20K out the front gate. And even though I have not paid off that other one, which uh, again, that's 80,000 for that one. I have 35 left. If, again, I will put 20K like right out the gate. Obviously, someone's going to fucking beat that. Then I'll put 40, maybe 50 out there. And if I get it for 50, great. I'll liquidate some of my Tesla uh, stock and I'll get that. And then I'll pay out. Then, <laughs> you know, we got it. Um, but if not, it's. I fully expect that to get. Well, SM Pratt earlier this year had said that he's gotten offers for like 65. Like, no. no. And that was like before the big boom. Um, however, there had been others on eBay as well for 100k and, you know, 100k or best offer or whatever. Now there's a BGS9 on there that's like 99,000 or best offer. And the other two PSA 10s that are on eBay are 130 and 150. So I fully expect this to get, I'm going to say minimum of 75, but I think it could go up to 90 plus thousand dollars for this. Um, that is just my opinion. I'm just, uh, it could be a fucked up thing. I mean, it's not like that Charizard first edition BGS 9.5 where it got all fucky like right off the bat. However, comma, speaking of Charizards, first edition PSA 10. Well, yesterday I get on a buy thread. Someone wanted to uh, uh, pay like $4,700 for a Blaine's Charizard. And even though that, because I think 4500 is the top offer that I've gotten, and that's on eBay. So this would have been like, I would have definitely netted, you know, the 4,700, but I just, I'm going to try to get that Trophy Kangaskhan without selling any of my Blaine's Charizard. So I, I think I can do it. I'm, I'm almost sure I can, I'm like 95% sure I can. Uh, but this is, I on that buy thread, I see him, like he wanted a first edition PSA 10 Charizard, you know, base set. So I'm thinking like, all right, what do you, what do you ask, what do you offer for it? And he offered like hundred and three or hundred and five thousand dollars, and he's like, "I'm just gonna give up." I was like, "No one took him up on that." And then I see another book. Someone offered a hundred and thirty thousand. This is something where I could have bought last year for forty thousand dollars. I could have actually bought it earlier this year for fifty-five thousand dollars, maybe sixty, and I would pay like premium whatever, and that would have been like fine. That would have been normal. That would have been like okay, that's a top price point. And now double that. People like. There are dozens of people on E4 that has a first edition PSA 10 Charizard. They were offered $130,000 for it, and nobody was biting. Absolutely no one was taking that. I don't... I wouldn't sell that either. If I were that. Like, if, as soon as I get my Trophy Kangaskhan for $80,000, and someone offers me one fifty dollars I'd be like, I can't. Like, that is too rare. That is too special for me. That will probably be $250,000 in the next 5 to 10 years. Um... If we're going by Charizards at fucking double in six months, I don't even fucking know. It tripled between, from last year to now. It doubled between earlier this year and now. Because there's so few There's so few of them. There's 121 PSA 10 copies. And now that Gary V is fucking in it, everyone that's following Gary V is just like, oh, base set. And that's why I think you're seeing a lot of these. You have like the stimulus checks. You have the genuine interest. You have people starting to make more and more money that love this hobby. And it's just freaking insane. So... All right, so now I'm going to get into the data. We have a we have a Hitmonlee first edition PSA 9 sold for $178. We have a Lapras first edition PSA 9 sold for 335. I still had mine for 340 that I 
I let go because the dude had like 90 feedback. Um, but that other one is still good for like nine hours. I re he, they offered like 325. I counter with 360. If they come back with 340, I'll probably take it because they have 100% positive feedback and they're like in Jersey or something. Oh, also, uh, my Dark Charizard, first edition PSA 10, that did sell for $3,400. I did get paid. Ying. Um, zoom for that. Huzzah. Uh, then we have a Clefable, first edition PSA 9, sold for $163. Ampharos, first edition PSA 9, sold for $126. Rocket Sneak Attack, first edition PSA 9, for $103. Misty's Gold Duck. This is hella interesting because I value that card very, very highly. Because it took me fucking forever to get. And this was a first edition BGS 9.5. It wasn't a 9.5s. Yeah, three 9.5s, then a 9. No, three 9.5s. And the only one that wasn't a 9.5 was the Edges, which got a 10. So this, in my opinion, should be minimum $1,000 card. Top five bids, 263 300 301 610 $620. If I was there, I was like, no, I need to get that because that is stupid undervalued. Whoever got that got an amazing deal. Crazy undervalued. Moving on. Uh, Dark Charizard non-holo first edition PSA 10. Two of them, one sold for 660 The other sold for 665 Um, I just put that on there because it's a higher ticket item pikachu uh from jungle set first edition psa 10 sold for 410 dollars. i remember when you can get that for like less than 80 bucks it's great um pidgeot first edition psa 9 sold for 180 i think that's undervalued also i freaking love that card that was everyone's flying pokemon back in the day yeah there are some people that got pharaoh because pharaoh is better than pidgeotto you know drill peck mirror move although pidgeot can learn mirror move, but yeah Pharaoh is better than Pidgeotto, but not Pidgeot. Pidgeot will pwn Pharaoh all day. And again, even if... And, and that's just in the games. That's, that's just in the games. It's just better because Pidgey you get early on. Sparrow you can get early on too, but it's like... Yeah, you know, it's that. Um, but then in the show, not only does Ash get a Pidgeotto right off the bat, which actually in yellow version, you can get a Pidgeotto. It's like a 1% chance, but in Viridian Forest, you can get a Pidgeotto at like level 9. It's really cool. Um, but in the show, Ash has a Pidgeotto, and, like, on, like, some, one of the last episodes of, like, the, you know, first, uh, saga there, it, you know, there's a thing, it gets beat up by a Pharaoh, evolves into a Pidgeot, and if that was not one of the greatest fucking episodes I have ever seen, better when Charizard just, you know, crushed all the bombs, like, bombs are being thrown by Team Rocket, and Charizard goes, Arr! and then throws the bombs back at him, it was so cool. But this was so much better. It was majestic. We saw that Pidgeotto from, like, the third episode, maybe. I, it was so freaking cool. I lo love that. That was the third... Technically, the second Pokemon that Ash caught. Because the... Uh, he had a Caterpie. Did he have a Caterpie first? No, Caterpie caught in Viridian Forest. I don't know. Somebody... I think he got the Pidgeotto first. Someone correct me on that. Anyway, I think that's stupid undervalued. The 9 and the 10, I believe, are undervalued. Again, just my opinion. Uh, Pidgeot. T18. First edition PSA 10. So Typhlosion number 18, it is the one that is easier to grade, not as rare, and it is not as good artwork in my opinion, but that still sold for $1,600. Then we had a Slow King, first edition PSA 8, but you know how like, if something's like a 9 OC, OC means off center, this was ST, Sierra Tango, I don't know what that is, um, but it had a swirl on there also, um, and it only got $95, like this should be minimum like $150, $200. Especially because it has a swirl. But it, again, I don't know what ST is, so somebody let me know. Uh, Unlimited Charizard, PSA 9, sold for $15.75. First edition base set pack with a Venusaur artwork. It was unweighed, or it, it didn't say it was weighed, it didn't say light or heavy. That It didn't give that uh, information. Top five bids, 6300 7800 8000 Top two bids were $8,200, $8,300. We don't even know this is weighed. We don't know this is heavy. We don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These prices are insane. They're killing me. They're great. Like, they're great. Great. But they're just like, I'm just, God, it blows my mind. That's just, that, yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. Articuno, first edition, PSA 9, sold for 275 Rocket Small Trace first edition PSA 10 sold for $660. Uh, Blaine's Charizard first edition raw. Uh, my grade, I would have given this a nine. 
solid strong nine the only reason why is because on the right side of the card like when you're looking at the front of it had some silvering for the most part the centering was very good probably got 9.5 i i didn't see like i don't even think i saw like edge or whitening i'm trying to remember now there's a, there's a decent like i don't know how hard how harsh psa will be with the silvering on the and it's just like on the side of the card you know uh, and it's not the whole right side it's like you know one third or two fifths of the right side um but this might get a week 10 like it's but it's um the top five bids are six hundred and ten dollars a thousand eleven seventy five eleven seventy five fourteen seventy five and the winning bid was fifteen hundred dollars um again minimum of nine and i think blaine stars art is due for a move as well um Especially because on that offer, I had, you know, it's $4,700 for that Blaine Charizard, and I'm not selling for that. So and I have I have a lot of reason to. I have multiple Charizards, and I, I sh honestly, I'm going to take my, my Blaine Charizard off of eBay, you know, because I have it on there for 6K or best offer. Uh, I don't want some, I don't want someone to come buy it for 6K. I net 54, 5,300 of it. No, no, I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to take it off, like, as soon as I'm done with this. Um, Blaine's Charmander... First edition PSA 10, so for $133. Record price point for that one. All right, guys, that is it for today. I love you all. Ooh, I love this shirt so much. All right. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I love you all. Goodbye. Bye.